Kenya is already one of the most developed and stable African nations and is set to become one of the world's new high growth economies. In the next 20 years, Kenya will become a middle income country with a sizable middle class and thriving industrial, technology and retail sectors. People are coming back to Kenya because now there are new opportunities with the, the, the infrastructure that has been developed, the, the submarine cables, the, the fiber optic networks. Uh, you know, people have seen that they can actually come here and write software, develop new things, innovate and, and, and invent new things. The government here in the last five years has really worked hard at creating an environment here that would attract new investors, particularly ICT investors. I think we've done a great job. The, minister, the ministry has done a great job in doing that. Now we need to cement that and, and, and create the other piece, pieces of the puzzle to make it attractive to come and invest in Kenya. And I think we're busy doing that. Kenya's goal is to achieve annual GDP growth of 10%, roughly what China has enjoyed over the last decade. And the Kenya Vision 2030 manifesto is the development blueprint which aims to kickstart this process. Realising these goals means tackling the practical obstacles to growth head on. Vision 2030 seeks to transform employment markets, enhance social infrastructure and build national institutions. Konza Technology City embodies this thinking. Designed to be a beacon of excellence for not only Kenya but all of Africa, the city represents an ambitious vision of a modern, inclusive and sustainable Kenya. It will be a showcase for Kenya's new dynamism and prosperity. The 2000 hectare city will be located on a greenfield site 60 kilometres south of Nairobi. It is already a location with excellent transport and communication links. The A109 highway connecting Nairobi with Mombasa runs through the site. The mainline Konza rail station is less than four kilometres away and Jomo Kenyatta Airport is under 50 kilometres. Konza Technology City will be based on successful new town projects around the world. The master plan has been put together by an international team of experts, drawing on best practice from places such as the UK, China and Brazil to ensure global competitiveness. The city will feature world-class civic and commercial buildings, and the business process outsourcing, BPO Technology Park, will be a high-quality campus playing host to a number of blue-chip companies. The city is designed to allow phased development, which will permit rapid growth, while ensuring that civic amenities and infrastructure grow with the population's needs. Sustainability is at the heart of Konza. The development will meet international environmental standards. Renewable energy sources will be used, and recycling systems will be put in place. Low-cost public transport will be built into the site. We are really excited about this techno city which has been set up and uh, the role it will play in terms of uh, meeting the vision 2030 and we as Kenjian for instance are also very very happy to be part of this uh, going forward and to be able to supply the power needs of uh, not just the techno city but also the, the rest of the country as we go towards the vision 2030. The commercial engine of the new city will be a cluster of technology businesses, financial services firms and other enterprises centred on the state-of-the-art business and science park. East Africa, we have become one now um, and we move freely, we become a regional market and, uh, and because of that, uh, the IT park that we are doing here is not only a Kenyan thing, it's going to be a regional hub for the entire East Africa and provide the leadership in IT for the entire region. The park will have world-class infrastructure developed by international IT suppliers and will be designed to meet global ICT demands. They need to move into a, a, a space that accommodates their, their business as it grows. I had planned to come back to Kenya because the economy is growing and in the IT sector especially. Now there are various initiatives being done by the government and private sector to come up with such spaces. There is a lot of growth and potential in Africa, especially in East Africa. Kenya already has a highly successful sea cable link to the Middle East, which ensures global connectivity. This campus will mark Kenya's arrival as a major BPO destination. As traditional outsourcing locations such as India become more expensive, 
and their economies mature, multinationals looking to streamline by outsourcing will look increasingly to Africa as the next low-cost, high-quality destination. The tech city is going to give a lot of technology expertise which will start growing the economy of Kenya as well as Africa. A further boost to Kenya is that its time zone sits between Europe and Asia, meaning that it can provide real-time services to both. The Central Business District will be another significant draw for global firms. It will offer a landmark shopping mall with major retailers, office blocks built to the standards multinational companies expect, and hotels designed for international business travellers and tourists. There will also be a small stadium, public entertainment venues, concert halls and sports facilities. Konzu will attract the most skilled and best educated people from across Kenya, Africa and the world. Well, I think from an educational point of view, the new city will provide better opportunities for the students to have access to better technology uh, and especially to have access, uh, easy access to companies, to startups. I believe the improved infrastructure will make a very big difference to us. Given the fact that we're going to clear school in a little bit, it will give us the opportunity to exercise our skills that have been imparted to us through the university education. The Kenyan government will provide a one-stop shop to meet the needs of companies looking to locate in the city and will be offering competitive incentive packages to investors. The new city isn't just about business though. Safe, well-designed neighbourhoods will be good places to live and raise families. Parks and squares will offer greenery, a feeling of space and recreational opportunities, while community facilities and medical services will be of an international standard. Education will begin with excellent primary schools and continue all the way to world-class universities. The city will be filled with cultural attractions, entertainment venues and, of course, some of Africa's best shopping. Konza is a very new kind of African city for a very new kind of Africa. It is at the forefront of a technology-led business revolution which will transform Kenya and Africa. Konza is where Africa's silicon savannah begins. <laughs>